Dearly beloved, sincerely departed, we just getting started. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, ricegang.myshopify.com. Log on to get your merchandise. I got my guy with me. Showtime, SP, to nobody that knows bodies. Bye. Okay, so, you know, um, Survivor Series just went down, you know, hopefully mm -hmm. Don Marino versus... Uh, Swamp. Swamp came out, yeah, you know. That was um, instant. It was instant. It was like oatmeal right there. Um, yeah, that was quick. Mm -hmm. And then you have, uh, you know, URL pushing the culture in the direction that they are. Just mm -hmm. hit 10 years. And, you know, Smack made some interesting comments over the weekend. Yeah. He was saying basically that, you know, the artists need to control their attitudes, control their emotions mm -hmm. on the stage. You know what I'm saying? He was saying niggas need to be more mature. You know, they're messing up the money. And... First of all, scaring you, the sponsors. Yeah, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let that, that get too far ahead of you. Yeah. But uh, what, what's your thoughts, man? I, I, I mean, listen. If the boss speaks, the the employees should listen, mm -hmm. and they should listen very clearly. I mean, if you don't like the rules, you can definitely get another job. Yeah. But at the end of the day, he's not wrong. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, as far as Smack is concerned, this is Smack. This is where. You know, this is what we come for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. what, 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 what did QP say? If you don't like talking about Glocks and Straps and Pop and Max, bitch, stop watching Smack. Mm -hmm. That's where we want that aggression from. You know what I'm saying? That we don't look, we don't look to any other league other mm -hmm. than Smack when it comes to heavy bars, gun violence, like that. That uh, that tension and aggression is there, mm -hmm. but to what extent? You know what I'm saying? Like now that it is becoming more of a, uh, a global aspect, you know what I'm saying, like it's now, it, it, it's worldwide now, you know what I mean, I'm pretty sure there's, put, there's people watching us in, mm -hmm. you know, in Africa, so I know they watching Smack, mm -hmm. so, you know, the, the world's eye is on it, so it, it gives us a sense of dial it back, but mm -hmm. keep it there, mm -hmm. um, I, I, they just gotta find that fine line, what, what you think about it? Um, I think that Automatically, it should come from him, from Smack. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, reason why is because you could have a lot of like if your supervisor on the shift speaks, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But if the CEO of the company speaks, yeah. it's a totally different thing. Yeah. You've seen a lot of intermediate people, like you know, Debo has said this, mm -hmm. and he'd be on stage telling people to calm down and all this other shit. Mm -hmm. But like I said, he's not the person that they you know associate with being the boss of a company. And it has to come from the leadership role because it can't be a fight breaks out or, you know, almost about to fight or whatever the case may be. All this shit that happens mm -hmm. and then it's just all right and it's just cool and it just makes it like it's straight. And then and, and it keeps happening over and over again. Yeah. And it's to a point where now where, you know, you got people like, damn, these niggas about to fight again, pushing yeah. and shoving. And it's been happening for a while now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It ain't like this don't go way back to even Summer Man is too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rex and Verb on stage, the crowd is heckling. Yeah, you know, crowd um, is heckling. Crowd is heckling, heckling and shit. Verb can't even really rap. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the people would say that that came from Verb like starting an all-out war with New York. You know this what I'm saying? True. And then having to come to New York in battle, so he did have it rough. We but as the year, we, we talk we about talk that in something it. different. But uh, as the years go on, you see a lot of almost about to fights. Yeah. Mad first serious Jones fight. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of other. Uh, Fucking gun titles and NWX almost about to fight, mm -hmm. and then it goes all the way down to Murderland, Dark Life, and it's like when you're trying to expand something and build upon something and keep something growing, what can you put in place to be like, yo, y'all niggas fight, y'all niggas not getting y'all second? And like, it's got to be it's something be. In, 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 in line to make this type of shit not happen. Uh, it, it's got to be something involved with the with the full purse. I do I do believe that. Uh, um, there was a negotiation type thing where some people get they because they'll say it in the battle, you know. I, I got, got money. money. Yeah, I got mine already. You know what I'm saying so. I would say you know at least hold back, you know, not a third, but you know probably half of the other half. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Make sure that hey, as long as we get out of here safe and everything's good, everybody right. get their money the 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 uh, the way that they want to. You know, I, I think that's a good way of doing it. Right. Um, it when it are you mad because I'm styling on you? Mm. You know, like we we ever since then, uh, that was where it, it began. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That that was the 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 beginning point. But oh, you mad? Cause I'm styling huh? on. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. that was legendary. That was the legendary most viral video. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then right after that, you will get out my face, son. Mm -hmm. So with that on that platform, that was smack. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now it's it, it is becoming a stigma. Mm-hmm. The uh, so when you talk about wrestling, like the best time that uh, if you talk to a real wrestling fan, fan, they'll tell you that the best wrestling time was around the Attitude Era. That was when. Women was getting power bombed through tables and okay, people okay, was getting okay. hit in the head with chairs. I'm following. It was a lot more grittier and raw. That's where you EC, you know, the other leagues, like as far as other, you know, wrestling leagues, they wanted to be more edgy because of the pioneer. The pioneer, which is smack, they now have to make it more clean cut and suitable mm-hmm. for bigger sponsors. In order for in order for the culture, this is if we talk about the battle rap culture, in order for the battle rap culture to progress, mm-hmm. we have to make some money by making some white people mm-hmm. or some position of power where it, it can't be, you know what I'm saying? We need the look from Hove. But in order to get that look from Hove, you know what I'm saying? Hove not about that right now. You know what I'm saying? He's on, it, it's, you gotta present it in a nice suitcase in order to, for it to be a great portfolio. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's all I got to say about it. So, smack I mean, it, I, right? I get it all. I get, you know what I'm saying? I get all of the, you know, stuff that you're saying, but niggas gotta calm the fuck down. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just put it like that. You know what I'm saying? Calm your ass like, down. niggas gotta calm the fuck down. Because, <laughs> real life, you know what I'm saying? Like, if the shit really be that serious, all these niggas be at all the same places, all the same times. Niggas know each other, people in each other's crews. Mm-hmm. Like, they can handle that shit in different aspects in different places. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gotta stop talking it through each other's rounds. Mm-hmm. Like, the talking between people's rounds. Like, like even with Rock. Rock gotta know for the next 100 events, niggas is gonna talk shit about him. Yeah. Gonna talk shit about Briz. Mm-hmm. Gonna talk shit about everybody. And you can't just, just jump in. Like, that shit that happened with the Big Cannon shit. That mm-hmm. shit can't be happening. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like. It's got to be a way around that because if you can't mitigate that and you can't, you know, bring it to the lowest level to where niggas ain't about to fight. Because you got people that, a lot of these people that go to these events, they just be going for the battle rap. They don't go for the bullshit, they don't yeah. go for the fights, and they don't want to get caught in a situation where you got murder land dark, like niggas falling off the stage like fucking um, WrestleMania 6 and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, can't be going down like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas can't be getting thrown out the steel cage. Niggas facts, shit. like getting Mick Foley off the <laughs> yeah, What's going it's on? You fall in the crowd when you having situations like where fuck it, uh, Jack Boy jumps in the crowd and get his chain back and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be uh, to where the environment, people feel like it's safe because once they see us, when they see us, they already think the worst. Yeah. And then when we giving them a reason why they should fucking feel that way, they should. And then, you know, you have Verb, you know, Verb was making his comments saying, you know, where was the prayer warriors then? Like when he was going through his shit in New York, you know what I'm saying? Like he was, he went through a lot. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. was like, you know, it sounds good now that y'all trying to say something. Yeah. But where was all of the shit when the crowd 2012 was? 2012 and yeah, like, yeah. I, I mean, I, verb ain't wrong. Uh huh. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, somebody had to get the rock stone at him first to for them to realize, hey, this uh, this is a little bit wrong for uh, a certain race to hate another race. You know right. what I'm saying? Somebody got to get sprayed with the hose. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we we appreciate it because Verb persevered and now you're considered one of the goats. And You know what I'm saying? It, right. You know, you earn just stripes, just scars. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Math. Mm-hmm. Math will always get that bad rap for either getting in a fight or starting a fight or stealing off on somebody in a ramp. Yeah. But at the same time, you're still revered as a le- Like, your name is talked around, you know what I'm saying, the elite. Mm-hmm. You can't be great unless you do something great. Right. But sometimes it's not considered great in a great light or, you know, in a bad light. Mm-hmm. I just feel as though for Smack, URL is concerned, keep the keep it in the ring, but all of the extra shit can stay out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It could be a gauntlet match. That's my call back to wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's where all of the wrestlers are just standing outside, making sure none of them try to run out the ring. You know right. what I'm saying? That's different, but you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's it's got to change up. Okay, okay. Yeah, overall, um, I, I respect the message, you know what I'm saying? Because the message got to come from leadership, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, it can't come from any subsidiary individual who really does not have an uh, overstanding impression on the company, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, these, you could say what you want, but it's like, dog, we don't know you, you know what I'm saying? Like. Who are you? Why are you telling us to be quiet? Right. Nah, boo, nigga, boo. We boo. keep on booing. Boo, nigga. <laughs> boo, nigga, boo. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly how that shit be going a lot of the time. Where a lot of people that's just in the crowd, they ain't trying to hear shit from nobody that ain't the leader. You know what I'm saying? 
And I think that there should be more pressure put on the actual artist, you yeah. know what I'm saying, to not be coming there with the intentions of, oh, it's going to go down, or, oh, we about to pop off. Because like you said, you are ruining the money, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you literally, these guys fucked up a free event. <laughs> the shit that was... Yo, and that they was fucked up, How you fuck up a free lunch, dog? Like, that shit still, it, it bugs us out that we lost Murder Mook and Calico versus... Twice. <laughs> Twice. We ain't never gonna see. Never. If, if the battle that Briz wants is versus Murder Mook, we probably ain't never gonna see that, that shit, man. Because they, why, who's gonna They're gonna have that battle on the phone. All right, they gotta put the <laughs> pool table between them. A pool table, a basketball court, and yeah. a football field. Mm -hmm. Them niggas had to battle on Skype. They're gonna have to FaceTime each other. Yep, that's exactly what's gonna have to happen. Yep. That shit's crazy, man. But other than that, you already know what it's doing, what it does.